I'm David Brown, President and CEO of the Greater Omaha Chamber of Commerce, and I'd like to invite you to watch this short video featuring some of the exciting data center projects that have located in Omaha recently. Omaha is an unparalleled location for data centers with reliable and affordable power, bandwidth, infrastructure, a skilled workforce, and much, much more, all wrapped up in a vibrant community with unmatched quality of life. But don't take my word for it. Let's hear from those folks who have already decided that Omaha is the prime location for data centers in North America. Many factors are taken into consideration when determining the best location for a data center. And these factors are exactly why Greater Omaha is home to so many, including names like Yahoo, Google, First Data Resources, Verizon, and PayPal. These and many other technology-focused companies rely heavily on Omaha's infrastructure and resources to keep their operations running smoothly. In fact, the headquarters of the U.S. Strategic Command is located in the Omaha area where it operates its Global Innovation and Strategy Center. This hardened, ultra-high security data center is where complex warfighting scenarios are played out with some of the most sophisticated technology in the world. For these types of operations, one of the biggest concerns is reliable and affordable power. Nebraska is kind of unique in that it's a 100% public power state. All of the utilities, the electric utilities, are served by public power. The Omaha Public Power District is one of the two largest in the state. We serve Omaha and the surrounding 13 county area. One of the major companies that we located recently was Yahoo. It was a very exciting project to have that kind of a, a worldwide company located in the Omaha metropolitan area. We were pleased to be able to work with them and to provide the power that they needed to do it within their time frame, to do it at a low cost. Our rates are approximately 35% below the national average. While power is a major consideration, it's certainly not the only consideration. Scott Noteboom, Yahoo's Senior Director of Data Center Engineering and Operations, describes why, of all the places considered, they chose Omaha for one of their data centers. The data center in Omaha for Yahoo is over 100,000 square feet. Um, when fully deployed, it'll house several hundred thousand computers, um, servicing functions anywhere from mail to front page to everything that people in the U.S. use Yahoo for. We do look for um, basically dual path network functionality um, to a, a centralized point of presence. Um, it has to meet, you know, a certain you know, threshold of milliseconds um, to that point of presence and then a certain threshold of milliseconds to the end user in Omaha does meet all those requirements. On our Yahoo project, we've employed about 300 local construction folks um, through, through multiple trades and we are seeing the highest productivity through construction that we have in any data center project we've ever done. Um, and I, I think that's a good starting sign of what we're gonna see out of Omaha. Large, small, established and new, Data centers of all shapes and size are locating facilities in Omaha. ConAgra Foods, Google, and a leading edge co-location facility called CoCentry have all located operations in the Omaha area, and for a variety of very good reasons. A number of our clients come from elsewhere in the country, and one of the reasons they come here is disaster recovery. And disaster recovery is all about mitigating risk. When you're in the center of the country, there are certain advantages whether it's the aquifer or the power structure or just the fact that weather incidents occur in a very different way. We don't get mass incident, we get individual incident and here that means it's manageable. One of the critical factors for us in terms of a data center in Omaha is power and uh, for us we've got uh, two very reliable sources of power that uh, was a, a huge factor for us. We've got two nuclear power facilities as well as a coal uh, powered facility here in the greater Omaha area. Almost every data center needs water to, to, for its cooling infrastructure, and that's one of the, another advantage this area has is water that's available, and uh, it's, it's, it's abundant, and it's uh, reasonably priced. The great thing about Omaha is we have a stable workforce, and we have an educated workforce, and that's engineering as well as management, as, and it's very important because what we've seen is a public and private sector coordination of education and experience. I think one of the reasons that uh, Omaha has such good telecommunications infrastructure and the significant bandwidth is the fact that we have uh, the a very substantial uh, size military organization here with US STRATCOM. So 
they require tremendous bandwidth and connectivity. So we have technicians visit all the time from our from our other data centers and it's interesting they they, they usually come not knowing not knowing what to expect but when they come and they visit and they see the area and they meet people in the community and they see the kind of options entertainment and living options around here they are very impressed in fact so impressed that it's not uncommon for me to get a transfer request from a technician who has visited. It's really a fantastic area and you almost have to visit it to see how great it is. We moved here from the coast uh, and my family and I didn't expect to find the cultural and social opportunities that we find here. But more importantly, it's just, it's a great place to raise kids. Had the opportunity to return and decided I wanted my kids to be Nebraska kids. I wanted our kids to be Omaha kids and it's made a difference. It's the education systems, it's the clean environment, it's just the quality of life and the genuine people. It's a nice place to live. I really feel that this area looks as the data center is a real opportunity and they want to welcome those that are coming here to build their data centers, are coming here to employ employees, and uh, it, it, makes, it makes a huge difference. We like Omaha. Uh, we started with a data center in Bellevue. That's expanded out over 125,000 uh, square feet with some of the latest designs and, and technology. But when it came time to build a true tier four solid facility, we looked around and came right back to Omaha, and we we're completing now a 48,000 square foot Midlands data center that will be one of the first true tier fours uh, in the nation that can provide the level of security, stability, and cost structure uh, that really is necessary to drive business today. We're excited, and uh, thank you, Omaha. It made it possible. So plan your next trip to Omaha to see for yourself why this area is considered a premier location for data center facilities. Omaha is open for business, and we'd like to see your next data center project land right here. Now that you've heard why, I would welcome the opportunity to host you for a visit here in Omaha, just to see how much we have to offer. Give us a call or contact us at our website, selectgreateromaha.com. I look forward to seeing you real soon.